start with your current project. Where did you get the idea for Trap Man? I got the idea from different pieces of my experiences. For example, growing up in Yonkers, New York, and being in Vietnam. I've read hundreds of good guy, bad guy classic novels, and I wanted to write my own story of good conquering evil. And that's what Trap Man's all about. The story of three guys who are just not going to take it anymore. And Trap Man, Joey, and Street Genius learn that they can make a difference. By their good example of facing up to the bad guys, their city becomes a better place to live. Even some of the bad guys become good guys because of them. So what's happening now with Trap Man? Well, the radio drama that you're about to hear, called the Nouveau Punk Morality Play by Fresh Air Radio in Minneapolis, and a radical hip audio comic book by NBC in New York, will be broadcast around the country on 100 channels as a pilot from Hofstra University in New York, mm -hmm. part of WRHU-FM. The comic book, Trap Man, will be on the national market in late January 94, drawn by Gordon Purcell of Marvel and DC Comics, who is famous for Star Trek, Indiana Jones, Bob Newhart's Mad Dog, and by Paul Frecky, who draws The Fly and Troll Lords for DC Comics. Also, you'll be hearing the musical cut Paper Bags Full of Money that I wrote and sung at Metro Studios in Minneapolis, produced by James Walsh, formerly of the James Walsh Gypsy Band, and keyboard player for Steppenwolf. James is also playing keyboard on this cut. Where did you get the idea for this song we're about to hear? You mean Paper Bags Full of Money? Mm -hmm. I think Paper Bags Full of Money is a fantasy many people have. And it depicts the attitude of the characters in my story who live in Crack Alley, like Snake Eye Sambuca, Rat Boy, Dollhead, Apache Jack, and the Master of Odds. Let's hear it. 